Just which market has the better homes at $500,000? Hotlanta versus Virginia Beach. Let's go. Now I went through and I picked out four different neighborhoods according to my research. Buckhead, Sandy Springs, Brookhaven, and Vinnings are all part of North Atlanta. And these are the best of the best of all of the suburbs of Atlanta. So let's take a deep dive into those neighborhoods and compare and contrast some areas I think you should focus on if you're looking at moving to coastal Virginia. First and foremost, 1821 Fernwood Road. 595, we've got a nice single family place, brick exterior, four bedrooms, three baths, 2,000 square feet. And this house is built in 1950. Now it's been on the market, for 111 days. Home seller, this should be your sign that you're overpriced. All that being said, I think this place is super cute. Don't know if I would have gone with the green paint, but the cabinets are updated. You have some decent countertops, a nice galley kitchen there. Maybe a little cramped right there. Bathroom tile looks like it's been updated. The vanity's been updated. However, that second bathroom needs a little bit of love. And it looks like they carried this theme of green throughout the entire stinking house. The other thing that I noticed is this place is backed up right against the highway. And so maybe all of that noise is keeping you from selling. So even with a price reduction of say 10%, 50 grand, you're still there in the $500,000 price range. Let me show you an option in Virginia Beach I think would be fantastic. 222 Sun Vista Drive in Virginia Beach, listed at 635,000 right here in the heart of Chicks Beach, which means that you're walking to the beach. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1,900 square foot for a home that was built in 1986. And the architecture shows, but the roof looks like it's in great shape. You have a nice garage there. And this photo right here shows exactly why you would wanna buy in this area. You're walking out your front door, you can jump on your bike and head to the beach and be there within a few minutes. This side yard is nice and private. Everything inside looks like it's been well cared for, but however, those kitchen cabinets look a little dated. It's obvious that they painted over those and added some hardware. As I roll through these photos, I understand that some of this looks tired or dated, but however, in this area to have this much square footage right next to the beach is exactly what people are looking for. Now bouncing back over into Atlanta, we're gonna be looking at Sandy Springs. We've got a town home here that looks like it's in fantastic shape. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, just over 2,000 square feet, listed at $540,000. Take a look inside because I think you're gonna like what you see. Now the downside here is that you're stacked up against your neighbors. You have a shared wall, so noise might become a factor. Or if, if you want a side yard with a little bit of distance, you're just not gonna get that here. However, the kitchen is nice and updated, big tall cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. Nice modern open floor plan, which is a big plus. The owner suite has a nice tray ceiling. It does look like the carpet is a little bit dated, a little bit tired. And you can tell with those little ribbons in the carpet right there, just either needs to be stretched or cleaned or ultimately just needs to be replaced. Now this is a photo that I would not put up on my listing. I understand that it's a nice large closet, but with all of these clothes and all of these colors, it just makes it feel crowded. But look how nice and neat and tidy this organization of this workstation is. Nice large soaking tub, big standing shower, vaulted ceilings. You do have a nice little private deck there on the back. And something that you have here in Atlanta that you don't typically have in Virginia Beach or coastal Virginia are basements. Hey, are you looking at making a move from another market, say Atlanta, into Virginia Beach or the coastal Virginia area? Our team does both real estate and the mortgage side, helping people buy, sell, and invest here in Hampton Roads. And you're welcome to reach us down below in the description and jump directly into our calendars there. Now let's shuffle over into Virginia Beach into an area called the Beach Borough. Now, if you're looking for walkability, the ability to hit the main strip of the ocean front, be able to go to a coffee shop and some little shopping centers. This is a sweet, sweet area. Three bedroom, three bath, 2,100 square feet, listed at 650,000 and it's single family, which doesn't always come about at this price point in this area. You do have a garage with some extra parking there on the side, nice open floor plan with beautiful hardwood floors. Kitchen's a little bit small, if I'm honest, I think that it could use to be a little bit more spacious, but the floor plan is the floor plan. The owner's suite has a nice updated bathroom, updated vanity, large soaker tub, and a massive, massive two-person shower. The place where I think this could use the most amount of love is this backyard. It's just not very pretty back there. But I bet you with the right furniture and flowers and potted plants, this could be a nice oasis. But the main thing that you are looking forward to here is walkability to the oceanfront and the Vibe District, which is one of the most walkable areas of all Virginia Beach. Back over in Brookhaven, over in Atlanta, we have a ranch. $525,000, three bedrooms, two baths, 1,000 square foot. You heard that right. Brookhaven, 
desirable. And so you're always trading off between size, location, amenities, and luxuries. And obviously your square footage doesn't go very far here. However, I will give credit where credit is due. This is a cute little ranch. Little single garage bay, nice old school hardwood floors that look fantastic. Whoever did the staging on this property looks really, really nice. The can lighting in the kitchen is an absolute must to keep things bright and airy. And I love the subway tile that they've selected here, along with a gas range, which in my opinion, is an absolute must for anyone who loves to cook. It's easy to scroll right through these photos because there's just not a whole lot of square footage, but the backyard is nice and spacious and has a nice little cute little fence around the outside. This is a great little option if this is your budget in Brookhaven. Now we're gonna bounce over into South Chesapeake. This is an area that if you want great schools, not a whole lot going on down there. Crime statistics are mostly in your favor. It's a great little area to be. 600,000, five bedrooms, three and a half baths, nearly 3,000 square foot. So you're gonna get a lot more house for your money. Did I mention that this house was built in 2017? So very, very little problems that are gonna happen in this property. Plus, you get the benefit of a modern floor plan, larger garage, everything's modern and new in here on the floor plan, built-ins around the fireplace, tons and tons of cabinet space there in the kitchen, vaulted ceilings in the majority of the rooms, a huge master ensuite, a nice large family room over the garage for entertainment, pool, ping pong, whatever you wanna do in there, and a massive walk-in attic for all the storage that you could possibly need. This is a wonderful new construction option in South Chesapeake around the same price point. So if you wanna go from being cramped and having a little bit of space, South Chesapeake might be a great option for you. Last up in Vinnings, outside of Atlanta, 2443 Folly Lane. $525,000, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, just under 2,000 square foot. Now you're not sharing walls here. You can tell how close these units are together. Big benefit is this house was built in 2019, so not much to go wrong there. And you get some modern architecture, which is super cool looking. Now I'm gonna pick on the person who listed this property just a hair because the photos here are not fantastic. And if you're gonna list a property around $600,000, there's plenty of money in there to get professional photos done. And honestly, looking at this property, I don't think it's getting the justice it deserves. That tile in the kitchen going all the way to the ceiling, that's a wonderful touch. The contrasting color of the island, wonderful touch. The floor plan and everything in here, great touch, but there's no lights on and the white balance is off, the dynamic range is off. Just put photo after photo, I'm looking at this going, I guarantee you this house looks better in person than it does in these photos. And I love barn doors. I know Chip and Joanna Gaines, I'm a sucker, but I love that touch. I'm a big fan of that style. And I'll pick a little bit here on the builder because I know this has nothing to do with the listing agent, but that front porch, I don't understand why you would put seats out there. It's not even big enough really to stand out there. And if you're gonna have a little deck, you need to be able to actually sit out there and enjoy it. Okay, Dan, show me new construction over in Chesapeake of Virginia Beach, bet. $563,000, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2,400 square foot, 1,900 Britain Lane is a fantastic option. And let me show you why. Not only does currently the builder have up to $10,000 incentives and $10,000 of closing cost assistance, because a lot of builders right now wanna get stuff off of their shelves, but take a look at this interior. Now I understand that it's staged, but it looks absolutely fantastic. Those floors are just gorgeous. Wide plank with the knots in there, that looks really, really nice. Their lighting choices look absolutely fantastic. The can lighting, the pendulum lights, tons and tons and tons of storage space here in the kitchen. Wonderful selection on that backsplash. You know me, I'm a sucker for gas range. I love the built-in cabinets around the refrigerator. You've got the plank boarding there into the bathroom. Really nice selection here on the curtains. I think it accentuates the colors and the light in the softness of the room exceptionally well. This must be one of the modern colors for 2023. I'm gonna say I'm a fan. Huge master ensuite, nice soaker tub, big shower. That's kind of a must today. And photo after photo after photo showing off what modern architecture and design gets you. So are you looking at making a move from hot Atlanta to Virginia Beach because you need some water to cool off? Well, that's what we do here on a daily basis. Jump directly into our calendars below in the description. And until the next video, see you later.